All right, so what we're going to have a look at here is creating road markings. And to do that, we're going to set up a new family for them. So I've imported this straight arrow, okay, as a site component. All right, and just pop that in. So what I'm going to do now is click on that and edit family. Okay, and that opens up the arrow family. Now, what we want to do here is modify this. So I'm going to click on the arrow itself and edit the extrusion and delete the lines we don't want and then quickly draw a large rectangle. Like so. And we can keep that. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. So what we now have is that linked to these parameters. So I'm going to get rid of the parameters we don't need for the arrow head, like that. And this width here of 500 isn't needed. And those two reference planes associated with that can go. Now, if we go to the properties and do this, the arrowhead length, we don't need that anymore. So we can just delete that altogether. The arrow stem width, we'll change that to 50 and we'll change the length to 1500 and press apply. And we can see how it's resized that for us, but we don't want to call it arrows anymore either. So if we click on there, we can edit it and we can now call it line width and say OK. And this one we'll rename to line length and say OK and apply. There we go. We can see they've changed. Click OK. Now we'll do a file save as a family. And we'll call this site line and say save. And I'm going to replace the existing file, but you wouldn't have one there already. OK, so what we're going to do now is load that into our project. And we'll go to site and I'll find the one we've just created. So site line. OK. Um, I should probably have renamed these a little bit better because it's got the two options there. But if we look at that, we can see the different options. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And we can see that's by there at the moment. And that's quite long. OK, probably don't want it that long. So let's edit type duplicate and we'll make it a 1500 long one and change that to 1500 and there we go look so now we have one at 1500 instead of four meters and we'll use this one and we could just check some dimensions make sure we're putting it in the right place OK, that's fairly accurate, to be honest. Hope cancel. Right, delete that. And what I'm going to do from there is just use the array command. Say I want 10 of them. And point upwards. 3,000, a few too many. I could modify that down to get rid of three of them, maybe. Make it seven. So there's those road markings. Now, the next set is a bit more tricky because it's on a curve. But we're going to do the same sort of thing. I put these radial dimensions, four and ten, so I know it's at a radius of seven meters. Let's jump back across. And this time, let's do a file save as again. And we'll call it site line curve save. OK, so 
this one. Um, let's just create. Oh, I modify the extrusion first that we have. And let's draw a circle with a radius like so. And I will offset that. 50. There we go. And then and we'll just tidy that up in a minute. And then we could rotate that line by there. Oh. Okay, or just if you're just doing it roughly, just do a quick offset up there somewhere. It's giving me lots of little warnings at the moment because it doesn't like what I'm doing. And now we need to just tidy all that up and trim it together. Delete the one line I wanted. Okay, and then we'll load that one into the family as well, into the project. So that is coming in more over here. You seem to have lost it though. Oh, you won't. 